What's going on gamers out there? It's your boy the Universal Gamer and I'm actually here to do an unboxing of something that I didn't even know I was gonna get. That I didn't even know I was I didn't even have on my radar to buy. You know how Amazon gives you suggestions for things to buy based on your recent purchases or what's inside your Amazon cart or the last items you were looking at. Um so I ended up buying this just out of nowhere. It cost me about, about a little bit over 40 bucks. It's another gaming case. This case I got right here, which I showed you guys so many times, is by Case Logic, and I use this to hold my video games. You know, it's a DVD case. It's meant to hold the DVD cover, and you know, it has two slots in the back for the actual discs and stuff like that. Just in case you have a DVD copy and a Blu-ray copy or something like that. And you know, I always like to use these to hold my games. I got a big one for my 360 and Xbox games. I got a, a medium-sized one for my PS3 and PS2 games. So, you know, I was on Amazon the other day, and I seen this case out of nowhere, and I love how this case looks. That's why I just had to buy it. I barely had enough for it. It was like $42. I had about $45. So, you know, funny thing about it is, after buying this, the price went up by $10. So I find that to be kind of like cheesy. But, uh, yeah, so if you're going to buy this in a particular case, it did go up by $10. So after shipping and tax, it's gonna cost you about fifty something dollars instead of forty something dollars after tax. Cause it was it was thirty bucks before shipping and tax, and you know they raised it up by ten bucks, so now it's forty bucks. So let me cut this with my master sword. So yeah. Now this in particular one is not by Case Logic. Case Logic is a very good company to make uh, cases like this and stuff like that. Um, and the one that Case Logic makes, it has like this little mechanism that you unlock right here. You can slide each one of these out, and these also take a. You can put these inside a three three ring binder if you want to. So uh, I like that. This case is. I forgot who this is by, but the thing that really drew me to this case, hopefully it's exactly like the picture shows, or else I'm going to be embarrassed, but, um, oh, I got it this way, so, this in particular case has the sleeve right here, it has two games in the front, or two slots in the front for games or movies or whatever, which I like. Actually, no, I didn't even know it had this. Okay, so it has front and back. So I can put a game, I can put a game sleeve right here, games, and then a game right there on the back in games and stuff like that. This holds 240. The case logic originally holds 200, but you can add more to it. This has a three ring, this takes the you know, standard three ring binder, so I can actually take those out of here and put them inside here, I believe. But it seems like this in particular case is a little bit narrower than the case logic case. So I'm going to test that theory right now. Go back over here. Okay. okay, yeah, so I can, if I wanted to, I can put these inside here if I want to. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is take this stuff out of here and put them all inside my new case and use this case for my PS3 stuff and use the one that I have on my, PS, my PS3 stuff um, use that for my uh, Blu-ray stuff um, like I said it was $29.99 when I first brought it shipping was 10 bucks and tax was about two dollars and something so um, it came up to a little bit over forty dollars but it went up by ten dollars so now the case is $39.99 and shipping is ten dollars and you know tax and all that stuff so um, yeah I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Wait, wow, that's kind of weird. Okay, so <laughs> it has three, three, it has three, three ring little um, mechanisms, which is kind of cool and kind of weird at the same time. No, it has four. Okay, so it has four. One, two, three, four. And you can add a lot more, it looks like. So um, there's a lot more room for this. Another thing I like about this case that really sold me, my case logic case, when I carry it like this with the handle, the games sometimes slide out. 
you know, that start coming out and stuff like that because when you carry it like that, the games are actually upside down. So, um, yeah. So I'll be uh, putting all these games inside here and show you guys how that look. All right, so this is how it looks with the games inside the case. What I like about this case is that first and foremost, what I didn't notice at first is that it has a lot of space for the sleeve or whatever. At first, inside the other case, sometimes it'll be kind of a tight fit, and especially when it comes to my Blu-rays, because I do use one of the cases for my Blu-rays, and the sleeve will barely fit, so I'll have to actually fold it a little bit. But this has plenty of room, and I like how you can see the game, see right through the actual sleeve, because in the other one, you can't see through the sleeve or whatever, or through the... Uh, you know, whatever you want to call this that hosts the games or whatever and stuff like that. So you can see right through it. So you can see exactly what it is. Even though you already know what it is, but still it looks... It, this the presentation looks way more better. And like I said, the front and back, stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, this is way better presentation, you know. The other case, I always thought the other case looked cool, which it does, but this one actually, you know, the, the game cover game right there right there next to the game instead of flipping it over and getting it from the other side if you do want the case logic case it is $25 on Amazon which is a very good price if you go to uh, Best Buy's and buy that same case that holds 200 uh, discs you're gonna be paying easily 60 bucks so Amazon have some amazing prices on that case and it's hard to find that case logic case as well inside the stores and online sometimes so you know, if you want one of these cases, you know, not this one I'm using right now. This one is 40 bucks, um, but the Case Logic one, which is real good, you guys been seeing that inside a lot of my videos. Those is a good. That's a good uh, solution for holding your games. I know a lot of people like to keep their game cases, but me, I like to save room, and at the same time, I still like to show the cover of my game. So when I seen one of these cases, I just had to get one. When I first seen the Case Logic case, I had to get one or whatever so I can keep the sleeve of my game and keep my game and throw all that little plastic stuff away or recycle it or whatever so yeah man see how some games come with two discs you know the bonus disc and stuff like that and you know things of that nature or if you have two copies of games or whatever so real nice and presentable and even with all these games inside here, I still got room for uh, 48 more games. So I have two copies of uh, Rainbow Six. I have room for 48 more games inside this case. I kind of was thinking, should I put my PS4 and PS2 game? I mean PS4, PS3 and PS2 games inside here, but I don't think I'll do that. Keep this for my Xbox 360 games and Xbox games and Xbox One games was when I do finally get that in 2015. I won't be getting it this year. They come out with a Gears of War edition. If Gears of War 4 is even coming out, I don't think it is. Um, so I still have plenty of room inside my Case Logic case. I was running out of space and stuff like that. Um, the Case Logic case does have the extra, you know, uh, holders right here that, where you can hold other games. This doesn't have that, but you know, not bad. This case as a whole is a very good case. Nice handle and stuff like that. You can actually sit like that if you want to. So, um, real good case, man. Um, I really recommend it. They did go up ten dollars, like I said, but you know, it's, I don't think it's worth it for the extra ten dollars. But um, it's a it's a real good case, man. Uh, you can't go wrong with it, and you also can't go wrong with this Case Logic case I've been using for a long time. You know, this is still a good case and stuff like that games right there in the front you can have two slots for uh, I mean game sleeves right there in the front and two slots for games or whatever in the back you know so you flip over take the game out so you can't see through this though but you know it's all good you know it's, it's good for what it is and stuff like that um, I might put my blu-rays aside here I've been running out of space for my blu-rays or I might just go ahead and pop my PS3 and PS2 games inside here and stuff like that from the smaller case logic case I got like this so yeah, man, that's been my little unboxing and look at that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.